Hello, Alisa here. Right now I'm going to talk about Facebook and the infamous like button. As you can see on a lot of major sites, they've implemented Facebook into their website. Right down here, you can see CNN.com has put a recommend button so people can share their information on Facebook. What I'm going to show you how to do is to get your very own Facebook like button and add it to your site so your visitors can share your information with the rest of the world on Facebook. Facebook developers website has a page that anyone can generate their own like button. The URL for this page is right below the video. So once you've decided what page you'd like your like button, enter it in here. Um, layout style. Standard is just the basic one that you're used to. Button count is a little bit simpler. So depending on how much space you have, you can use either. I'm going to stick with standard. Show faces is if someone likes your product, their profile picture will show up underneath here. Width, I already know the dimensions that I want, but you can play around with this a little bit once you get it onto your site. The verb to display. As you can see, like is well known through Facebook. CNN also had recommend. So you can use like or recommend, whichever you prefer. I'm going to stick with like. Font. Default is actually Lucida Grand, so you can use another one that fits better into your website or just use the default. And then color scheme. The one you're looking at right now is the light version. And the dark version, of course, darker. So we're going to use the light. Once you're finished, click get code it will show you two different types that you can use. Um, the XFBML actually uses JavaScript. The iframe is just standard iframe. Highlight this, copy, control C. Once you finish, click done. Now to put it on your website, this can be done a couple different ways. I like to use FileZilla. So I've logged on to my FTP. I'm just gonna right click and click view edit. Again, I've made it so that I edit files automatically in Dreamweaver. And I have decided to put my like button right below the title here. So I'm just going to control V to paste. Looks good. And then save. And with FileZilla, if you're saving a temporary file or editing it, So now it saved it and uploaded it back to the server. So let's check out our new page. Ta-da! Now I have a like button right here. So I'm going to click this button. Now once you click the like button, it appears here in your recent activity. Now, as you can see, it's only put in your recent activity on your home page. It's not published to other people's news feeds. Now, let's back up here a minute. And remember what I talked about when we got the code? There was the iframe version and the XFBML version. So the XFBML version will actually give you a lot more usability with the like button and it'll be able to have people publish their like onto their news feed so then you will see it when they log in. The only trouble is it's a lot more complicated, so if you've at least got a little bit of HTML knowledge and a little JavaScript knowledge, follow along. As you can see right here, it says XFBML is more flexible than iframes, but it requires you to use their JavaScript. So click this JavaScript link right here, and it'll bring you to their JavaScript SKD site. Now this is not cut and paste ready to go, unfortunately. First, you've got to register your application, meaning you've got to register your main site. So click this register link here and type in your site name. And now what it does is generate this cut and paste code for me right here. So let's extract what we need out of here, which is just the fbxml and the javascript. Now that I've got that, control c to copy, open my temporary editing file, and here you can see where our iframe Facebook like button was. I'm going to delete that, and now 
control V and paste. So before saving it, tidy it up any way you want. I'm taking out these paragraph markers and what this is right here is actually a login button to Facebook. We don't want that so I'm going to delete that as well. So now I'm just going to have the like button here. Upload it. Refresh it to see what we're looking at here. Okay, so it looks the same, but when you click the button, now you get this. This is important. So now you can go and comment on the site and it'll show up in your newsfeed. And click post to Facebook. And it automatically posts it. So let's go back to my Facebook. Hit a little refresh. Well, bam, beautiful. So of course, if you're really into JavaScript, you can actually mess around and change all of this um, so that you get a different icon and, and such like that. But again, that's even more advanced. So use the links at the bottom of this video to really pick around and really play around and get yourself a very nice like button. So that's what it does. You can like as many sites as you want. Quick example here. We're playing around with it and I'll show you what James Page looks like. So we hit up a bunch of our sites. And the nice thing about this as well is if someone comes to your page, they can also recommend it. And it will be added to their recent activity as well. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Bye.